Welcome, today we will talk about some community. So recently we had many projects popping up and uh, doing airdrops and many people setting trust lines and also quite often using some community. And I've been recently asked quite a lot and also many people were quite skeptical about some community and the website is safe to use and it's even safer to use if you understand how it works. So we will quickly deep dive into that, how it actually works. You can see here, uh, some communities is a tool which gives you the, uh, the ability to even interact in a more advanced way with the Excel Ledger. For example, there's an account set functionality in there where, for example, uh, set where, for example, disallow income XOP or set some account flags on the res respective account and also you can so the easiest way currently to set a trust line is um using the some community app because not all trust so not all um projects are currently added in some uh, some apps so also there's a verification process if a project wants to be listed in some so in the actual some app then they have to provide lots of data which is great um but if you if, if the project doesn't have that, you have to set the trust line manually. So in both cases, you have to set it manually. But uh, well, let's quickly deep dive into it. So usually, if you set a trust line, you have to um, add the 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 well the token currency code. And usually, codes are three letters long. So it's very important either three letters long, and if they're longer than that. Then, uh, for example, let's just take any of these here. If they're longer than that, you can see here then the hex code has to be used. And that's something many people do wrong oftenly. So if the, if, if the currency is not three letters long, then, uh, then you have to use the hex code. Uh, like I said, for example, with Narian or any other project, you can see, you can see all, all, all of these here, the hex code. And if you want to set a trust line, I can, uh, so they prepare just the transactions. So for example, let's do it for US dollars of Gator. You can click on set trust line. What it does here, it's, it prepares you a link here, but which just has the parameters of the uh, who's the issuer, what's the currency code, and what's the limit. And all of this is great. So if you send this link to anybody, anybody can just take that and then sign it. And uh, now let's try to understand what happens here. So now we can see here that a QR code has to be scanned <clears throat> with the sum app. And the idea here is that it's just it's just basically a, a well, let's call it a link currently for now. So we'll go back to the phone. And it's like if I would scan that and open it, I'm just copying right now the URL because I've got here a virtual phone, an emulator, with which I can't, um, well, take photos. And what the only thing it does is it submits to your phone a transaction. So this is nothing dangerous. But you just have to understand what happens here. And you can see here, it's just a, a, a some community. So some community is the, is the well, uh, from where it is more or less the request, so the transaction, you can see here the issuer, the token currency code and the limit. And that is a totally legitimate code. You can see the issuer, you get all the extra details and you just don't have to sign because right now a transaction has been submitted to a sum, to a sum app. And if you sign that, you are, so the signing happens right now in the sum app. So your secret is never being exposed. The signing happens locally and the signed transaction gets pushed again to the extra pledger. And that's how it works. And it's not like that you're, I don't know, hacked or anything dangerous can happen. Also, if you set trust lines, there's no danger there. You can set a trust line. And if you don't like it, you can remove it again. Setting a trust line will lock up 5XOP currently. So there's still talks to lower that. So as soon as enough validators vote, the, the reserves will load to 10 to, meaning that only, uh, the trust lines maybe in the future will only lock up 2XOP instead of 5. So now I just have to sign, then I have to enter my password, and now the transaction gets, is being signed and then submitted to the Exit Ledger. And uh, now it has been, oh, submission failed. And my bad, so we had just an error here. And I'm also gonna highlight that. So the, the transaction was tech insufficient reserves. And I did a mistake here because as we know, it should lock up five XRP, but I've got oh, right now only two XRP unlocked. So either I'm gonna just remove a trust on right now uh, any of these, I guess, here. So I'm just going to remove, for example, the Flare Spark uh, trust line. Uh, also highlighting here that this is just an IOU. This is not the actual Spark. This is just Gator Bull. We're also trading Flare as soon as it launches. Um, and like I said, if I tried it again now, so I'm just going to click on set trust line again. And if we confirm that, it already um, 
should have already remembered. And if you now go to events, it already knows my, uh, and so it already knows the connection of the phone for now. So that's why it submitted the the uh, signing request again. And if I scroll down, now I can sign again. Um, so now I had now 7.8 XOP and now it will be again 2.8 XOP because now it's it succeeded and now we can see if we go back to home, I've got only 2.8 XOP left. And if we would now remove the trust then again, you can see that I will get, so where is it? I think it was the US dollar. So you can see I've got lots of trust lines set here. Yeah, it was the US dollar. And if you want to remove a trust line, you can just click on it and click on remove. Also very important, if you want to remove a trust line, the balance has to be zero. So that's uh, if, it, if the balance isn't zero, then you have to either uh, just trade, trade it to zero or also send the remaining balance to the issuing account or any other account that, uh, that accepts the currency. Uh, right, so you can just remove it. Yes, I'm sure. And after removing it and signing it again, the trust line, uh, so the token, uh, will be removed again. So, and my five XOP are unlocked. You can see that, that I've now 7.8 XOP. Also, if you want to have a whole listing, uh, then you can click on explain here. But first, so some only shows you how much XOP you're able to spend. Because right now in this account, there are more than 7.8 XOP on it. But there are some, there's a certain amount of XOP which is locked up. And if I click on explain, I can see why. You can see here, 20 XOP is locked up as the, world re as the account reserve. Then we've got 5 XOP for this token, 5 XOP for that token, and so on. As soon as we remove the trust line again, a 5 XOP for an offer, 5 XOP for an escrow created. And as soon as I remove the trust line or any of these other objects, the 5 XOP will get unlocked again because in actuality I have 123 XOP in this account, but right now available for spending are only 7. And this is not the setting by some. Some didn't set it up that's the XOP ledger who had, has these limits. So, so, but some only shows you uh, on intentionally only what you can spend because it's more interesting to you because you don't care. Uh, if you, for example, if you have 120 XOP and try to send 40, it doesn't work because the XP Ledger will not allow that. That's why Sum is only showing the balance you are allowed to spend. All right, then that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.